Hello and welcome back to my allotment. This week we do, we're going to do some awesome gardening jobs such as planting some spring bulbs, we're going to put some cardboard on some beds, we're going to uh, remove some plants, but we're also just going to you know, enjoy the garden at this time of year which it's important to do because as the leaves are falling which I will be busy in the next few weeks collecting them, making a nice leaf mould. Uh, but also something I do want to tell you, I've recently upgraded to the iPhone 16 yesterday and I think the camera quality, it's much better. The colours are more vibrant. I was just setting it up and I was looking at the archway and the green through the, through the screen. Well, that rhymed, archway on the green through the screen. <laughs> and it just looks so much more colourful and green and vibrant, which is gonna improve your viewing experience and it's gonna make me happier while editing. So yeah, let's do some gardening. And if you don't know, this was take eight. These tulips that I've got here are the varieties Muvata and Bochangles and then I've got a standard daffodils pack of 40 uh, Narcissus which is what I usually get every year. I've tried and I've tried to try and get this mic working and it is annoying me so much. I'm going to have to try and find a solution to that because that is annoying me so much. So you're going to have to go uh, without a mic, unfortunately. I got it working this morning. I can't get it working now. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to do a bit more music, a bit more songs, a bit of that. Um, but I'm going to sit and enjoy a cup of tea and a pot of noodle. But I think I need to change the gas out on this burner because this is taking years. See you then. So onions, how to sow them, when to sow them, indoors, outdoors, all of the above, I will be answering. So this time, of, any time of year really, uh, other than when the ground is frozen, you can sow onions indoors or outdoors. Um, there's cobwebs everywhere in here. But I chose mine to do them in my container wise seed trays and I'm quite glad I did because there's a few reasons for that. One was because of all the rain we've had, I don't want them to be like become mouldy and possibly not uh, grow. Second is because the rats might get them and lick them and eat them and then you have spots with no plant there. Uh, and then the main one was I don't know where to put them yet, I'm being indecisive, I want everything to be perfect. Uh, so I've not decided where I want them. So that's why I've put them in the seed trays and I'll be planting them out about March time, maybe, maybe a bit earlier. Um, 
what you need to do is literally just get a seed tray, fill it up with some multi-purpose compost, uh, place your onions in just so the top is pointing out. There is two sides to an onion. You've got the top and you have the bottom. Pretty simple. Put the bottom into the compost. Label them, put them into a tray, give them a water if they need it. If your compost is damp enough, do not water them. Uh, they'll be perfectly fine. And then just put them on a nice window sill. They don't have to be in a greenhouse, they can be in the shed. But when they start sprouting, you're going to want them to be in a sunlight. Like mine, I've already started to sprout. So yeah, let's move on with a few jobs, shall we? Just done emptying that compost heap and I'm so happy with my results. That is completely full to the top. Um, it's not being compacted in any sort of way, which is why it's so high. Um, but that is going to rot down absolutely lovely and I cannot wait to use that on my beds in springtime. That will definitely mulch probably about 70% of my beds, which is going to be such a money saver. I'm so glad I did that today. I'm going to put all them scaffolding boards back on. Sorry if it's a bit windy and I'm going to remove my cosmos. There we go, one bay just finishing off composting and one is ready to completely fill up. So I think we should start filling it up. Hello and welcome back. It is another day uh, on the plot. Video is still going. Um, sorry if the volume's a bit quiet, a bit ugh. It's because the mic still ain't working. I'm gonna sit down and get it working today. Fingers crossed. But um, today I'm gonna tackle a job I've been wanting to do. For a few weeks now, um, that is the tidy behind my greenhouse. That means I'm uh, chopping back things, getting stuff that could be just got to skip at home. Uh, so I'm going to get all the stuff in the skip that I don't want anymore. I'm going to have a good old tidy through the whole allotment. I'm going to chop all the stuff in the skip that I don't want. I'm going to chop back all the hedges behind the greenhouse. I'm going to give it a real good tidy up. And then the thing, the tools I'm using today, uh, my number one tool is my uh, steel professional range. His chart is the HSA100. It is a battery one with a AP300S battery in it. If anyone's wondering, uh, it's a beast. And you should always have some sort of gloves when dealing with stuff. Especially I've got some pretty stuff back there. A pair of secateurs, that's just to prune back any things, you know, just in the way. You know, a bit of, you know, always handy to have. And then completely optional, but I love these. These are my steel headphones and they play music for them. Not needed, but because they play music for them, that's why I need them, because that's incredibly quiet. Uh, yeah, the steel dynamic BT. I love them. They, uh, yeah, very good noise cancellation. They make you much better at work. So let's get to it, shall we?
So there we go, just like that, it is all done and finished off with. Um, I, yeah, I'm happy with it. After school, got the green waste to get rid of, sort of. I've got rid of probably about 50% of it, but the rest I'm gonna leave it to rot down and I'll get rid of it another time. Um, yeah, I've got what I've wanted to do today. We've got a small little gathering over at the pub at the allotment today. And I'm gonna go home. I think I'm out, I want to make something. Walk the dog, have some lunch, carve my pumpkin, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.